Hey YouTube. Okay, this is the second time that this has happened. So now I'm making a video for it. My 1000 watt single channel jail audio uh, amplifier. I just removed it. This is the one for the uh, my four um, mid-size speakers. Um, so as you can see, I removed my amplifier and I capped off anything that could cause a possible shock. So, and I also have uh, capacitors and stuff, so I want to make sure that's all capped off. So, here's the amp over here. I'm going to show you what I do to stop the um, audio from dropping off. It took me a little while to figure this out. Um, so, move the amp, take the back panel off. There's 12 of these little screws. And here's the bit that you need to, to remove it. It's like a star bit. It's called a Torx bit. And this is the uh, T15. I don't know if you can see it on there, but it's a T15. And uh, you take off all 12 of the screws off the back panel. Here's the back panel, just a flat piece of metal. So the front panel does not come off. All right, now the problem is the contacts of the audio input from the RCA cables, the head unit, when they connect to the amp. So there's these little metal contacts here, um, here and right there. And what they do is they kind of round out like a, like a barrel in there and it wraps around the RCA cables. So I noticed that these kind of would get a little too flexed out over the years, just from like vibration of the bass or driving, whatever. So I noticed that they weren't getting that much contact with the RCA cables. Um, and I just, what I do is I get in there and I kind of just get a little micro driver and I kind of bend these out a little bit to give a little more contact. You can see... Let me zoom in a little bit. You can see where they kind of round out in there. And I actually lifted them already before there was no gap at all in between that flat piece and the plastic round piece. I actually lifted it up pretty high, so now it's going to get some good contact with that RCA cable. But that's pretty much it, you know. Um, there's really nothing else that causes those issues. These are great amps. It's just one little flaw in the amp. It just happens. But if you just get something to round out that little metal contact in there, uh, kind of, you know, um, get something on the other side and kind of lift up on those contacts to get some better contact on the RCA cable then that's what will prevent your sound from dropping out of your bass. So you got to remove it, take off that back panel, get a little micro flat uh, flathead and get in there with this or something smaller and stronger and lift up on those little contacts and that'll stop your sound from dropping out. Just be very, very careful because these are soldered in right here. So you just want to get as far in as you can, not really lift and lift up on the contacts and not on the solder joint there, because that will be, you know, that that would not be good. So yeah, and also get a T15 Torx bit, uh, unless if you have some driver that can get in there and take them off, they're going to be very tough to get off. All right, cool. Chris is out.